Hello and welcome to CGI Science Tips and Tricks series. In today's video, I want you to show how you can use your substance texture in 3ds Max and V-Ray project. Now, the third step is just to get the texture. You can use substance texture from any substance suite software. So you can use Substance Designer, Substance Painter, or even Substance Sampler or just simple Substance Library. You just need to download SBSR file. So SBSR is a Substance Archive file that contain all parameters. And this is the most important part. So you cannot use this texture as simple texture. So first of all, you need to install Substance um, plugin in 3ds Max, and this one and this one now goes by default. Okay, so now um, I have this my project over here, and I want to replace this rug. And I will use texture from Substance Assets. So I'm going to Free Assets. I'm choosing any of these. So I choose this one with the flowers. So I downloaded this one, and now I want to use this SBSR file in my 3ds Max project. So the first step is open your Slate Material Editor. Okay, to make really, um, really organized, I will create new view. So creating the new view, I will name it Substance. And in this view, I need to use Substance node. And you can see in the left view, you have this search bar, and I can add Substance. And you have Substance and Substance 2. So always use Substance 2. This one is up to date, the current one known that you want to use for your Substance texture. Let's click and drag this one over here in my work area. And now with this one, you can load your Substance. So I'm pressing Load Substance, choosing Substance Material. I just downloaded it. So I'm going to my download folder. And now pressing Open. And now you can see substance material is over here. You can even see that we have all the same parameters. So I can see all the colors, roughness, metallic, roughness, metallic. So everything from substance. So even if I'm opening substance 3D asset library and opening 3D player, I can see I have all these um, samples. Okay. And I have all these parameters over here. So we're getting everything here as well. And you can see even, um, you can even select the graph. So, and you can see even the substance presets is over here. Okay, so we can use any of these three samples. So we will use this one, the default one, and now we want to convert this substance material to V-Ray material. And in our main menu in 3ds Max, if I'm clicking Substance, you can see there is Substance 2, Arnold, V-Ray, Octane, Corona, Redshift, and Physical Material. So in our case, we want to convert this one Substance to V-Ray. So I'm pressing Substance to V-Ray. Simple as that, just one click. And this is it. Now, okay, now I have this new created V-Ray material and all channels is connected from Substance. Now keep in mind that in Substance, you can even change the resolution. So by default is really low one. You can change this one at any point. And if, for example, you have your texture you can even ask for 8k how cool is that so in our case i will use this 2k okay and now because i do have this v-ray material now i can apply this one to my object in this case it's this rug so i'm selecting the material i'm selecting the object and applying material to selection and this is it now the good thing is, even if you change parameters afterward, you can still get the results in your rendering. So now if, I'm, for example, I will change the resolution, the colors, for example, I will change this one um, to magenta, this one I will change to purple, and now I have all new colors. This is it. So you can see that the 
process how I can use your substance material in 3ds Max and convert everything to V-Ray is just a couple clicks away. So please use this technique um, to enchant your projects and see you in the next time.